Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are back in Zora's Domain after completing the Water Temple and saving the whole area. No more sludge around anymore. You can see that the water is nice and fresh and everything, which is great. Sidon became king in the last episode, so I figure we'll at least run around Zora's Domain a little bit, catch up with the characters, and see what, what's going on with them. Hey. Link, it seems the time has come for you to resume your heroic travels once again. I will continue seeking out information on our vanished Princess Zelda. You have my word. I'm quite certain that the search for the princess will not be easy. Such important endeavors never are, are they? But no matter what transpires, know that I am always with you. Should you ever have the need of me, simply ask and I shall appear. Will do. What about King Dorfin? I guess just Dorfin now? Uh, can we talk to you or? I might have to back up a little bit. Here we go, Dorfin. <laughs> Link. Words alone cannot express the depth of my gratitude to you. Though I am certain that your travels will continue, know that you have the full support of the Zora, now and always. If there's anything I can do to aid you, please do not hesitate to ask me. The King Scale? Hmm, it seems you have not yet exhausted your supply of King Scales. Please return when you run out. So I guess I can get some more. Uh, what's next for you? Well, now that my boy, King Sidon, has ascended the throne, I shall watch over the little ones and otherwise do as I please. Such is the privilege of a retired king. Once this world of ours has overcome these dangers, perhaps it would be fun to drag Muzu along on a tour of Hyrule. Is there anything else you would like to ask of me? I don't think so, but I'd love to see you tour Hyrule. Be well, Link. And then also we have Muzu here. Ah, Link, you've done it. With your help, King Sidon has realized his full potential and become a worthy successor. I can now leave Zora's domain free of concern. It is unarguably in good hands. As it were, I have been tasked with joining Pura as a representative of the domain. I look forward to joining my efforts with those of our brave Zora soldiers. That's awesome, so I guess we'll be catching up with uh, Luz later on. In summation, and to repeat myself, as an attendant of Queen Yona, it is paramount to demonstrate more self-awareness. At all times and in every circumstance, you must behave in a way that is n in no danger of reflecting poorly on her. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm ever reflecting on that. Indeed, your words ring true. Hmm? Ah, Sir Link. <laughs> oh, Sir Link, wherever are my manners? I was not quick to notice you had graced us with your presence. I am terribly sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Perhaps it is because you were so absorbed in lecturing me. Honestly, and the reason for that is your lack of progress in the tasks you have been entrusted with. The Zora Helm we are to present to Sir Link seems to be stored in a skyfish. Queen Yona kindly provided you with that helpful information, yet you have done nothing with it. <laughs> yes, that is so. I desperately searched the river for the, the fish that ate the Zora Helm, but I remember I, I returned empty-handed. Pure silliness. It is unlikely that the Zora Helm was placed in an actual fish's stomach. I suspect you should be thinking of the skyfish as a metaphor leading to the place where the helm is hidden. Mm -hmm. You never listen closely to my guidance, which often results in these ridiculous misunderstandings. <laughs> I, eek, help me, Sir Link. I mean, I could try to find it, the never ending lecture. It seems that Chroma and Kira are looking for the Zora helm in order to thank you for saving the domain. Apparently it rests within a skyfish, but what could that be referring to? Um, I believe I understand what it could be. We've already been to the skyfish before. That was uh, way up here, right? Um, This one, the Floating Scales Island, I'd imagine. So maybe we can get inside of this somehow and there'll be a the Zora helmet, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Understood, Chroma. Queen Yona originally intended the search the search for Sir Link's Zora helmet to, herself to present to him with in gratitude. But someone insisted that she hand off the task Leave it to me, that Zora said. Who was it? Was it not you, Chroma? Uh... Look, I understand being motivated, moved by Queen Yona's kind spirit and the Domain's gratitude for Sir Link. In truth, I have full faith in you and your own spirit. That is why I am so hard on you. Uh... Uh, she keeps repeating prior lectures, but I was told that the Zora Helm is stored in the Skyfish. Uh... Hmm, Skyfish. Fish. F-I-S-H. Oof. All this ta fish talk is making me famished. Okay, we'll leave them to it. But that's a good quest to keep in mind. And it's interesting that sometimes, you know, they'll just be characters with the side quest without them having like, a little exclamation mark. Oh, and it's Yona. Perhaps I could... Oh. oh, Sir Link. Thank you ever so much for your noble efforts. I have been earnestly pondering what I can possibly do to thank you for saving the domain. However, 
Jato found some ancient texts that mentioned the Zora Greaves. It is said that those who wear them are gifted the power to swim in the water as they please. I am certain that such an item would be invaluable in your quest to locate Princess Zelda. I told Sidon and everyone in the Domain that I hope to present this special gift to you. However, the Greaves in questions have still not been located. According to the text Shato found, the Zora Greaves were created long ago. It seems they were offered at the ancient Zora Waterworks as a prayer for friendship between the Zora and Hylians. Upon hearing that, I desperately searched there, but I was unable to locate them. I wonder where in the Waterworks the Zora Greaves were offered. Huh, a token of friendship. The Zora Greaves offered in the distant past as a token of friendship between the Zora and the Hylians may be located somewhere in the ancient Zora Waterworks. You should be able to access the ancient Zora Waterworks from the reservoir east of the Domain. So I think we'll try to find the remainder of this Zora armor in today's episode. Hmm. It seems that the Zora Greaves were offered at the ancient Zora Waterworks at the bottom of the East Reservoir Lake. That is what the texts claim, in any case. If that is correct, I wonder where in the Waterworks the Greaves were offered. Okay, we know where those are, we know about them though. I thought they would prove valuable to you. I'm terribly sorry that I failed to find the screws for you. I wonder if there are still places we have yet to access within the waterworks. I'm sure there are. Wow. Hello, I mean, hello Hylian. I feel it would be a bit embarrassing to start calling you Link just all of a sudden. Well, in any case, I heard that you and Sidon bested the sludge monster. Wow, that is extraordinary. I must get in the action myself, yes I must. I hear that Gaddison found a monster fort, so there has been some talk of trying to clear them out. Interesting, well good luck with that. But I sort of want to explore as much of Zora's Domain as I can, sort of continue with some quests and stuff, or just start some new ones as we just did, so that would be good. Have I talked to you too much since you've been checking this out? It's Yato again. Yeah. Ah, Link, it is good to see you. I am after all indebted, or I am after all, indebted to you for repair, for your repair of this stone slate. Thanks to your efforts, as the sludge has disappeared, meaning that I can resume my research. Needless to say, I cannot possibly thank you enough. <clears throat> Speaking of thanks, Queen Yona has been searching for the Zora Greaves. She means to give them to you. I recall an old text mentioning that they were dedicated to, the, to it at the ancient Zora Waterworks. However, Queen Yona has searched the Waterworks and turned up nothing. The Greaves are, are nowhere to be found. Despite that, I still feel as if they must be somewhere within the Waterworks. Perhaps they are in a less obvious place, or maybe there's a chamber in the waterworks we are unaware of. I guess that's what I want to find out. Probably somewhere I can ascend into, or something like that. But, for right now, I think, yeah, we have uh, some old friends over this way. We got Impa. Uh. Ah, hello, Link. I should have known we would run into you here. We came to investigate the geoglyph in this region, but the sludge falling from the sky complicated things. Fortunately, the muck is gone now, and our efforts to research the local geoglyph may resume. Link, hello. The ancient literature states that the Forgotten Temple is at the bottom of, the, of a canyon in Hebra. We believe that it will be integral to our understanding of the geoglyphs. Investigating the local geoglyph is important, but I would like to find that temple as soon as possible. Okay, so definitely we'll have to work on the geoglyphs stuff soon. We also got Totika. Uh, Link, I heard the news. They say you investigated the islands in the sky with our own King Sidon. You're amazing. Hmm. I'm so embarrassed that I was fast asleep because of the sludge. And while I slept, you two were doing so much for ah. us. I made up my mind that I just can't leave things as they are. I'm going into that cave to rebuild myself stronger than ever. There's a stone that glows green there. Upon first sight, I was enraptured by it. A glowing green stone? Ah. Indeed, its shape and weight make it ideal for strength training. If you're interested, why not go see it for yourself? Oh. You'll find the glowing green stone southwest of the Domain, at the underground cave of Rawless Pond. What is that about? Glowing green stone. So let's have to check that out at some point for sure. Uh, but down this way, there's another quest. I cannot forget it. Oh. Ah, Link. The blessed reign of King Sidon has finally arrived. I cannot think of an occasion more worthy of celebration. If only Princess Mifa were still with us, I'm certain she would be overjoyed. Huh. It still burns brightly in my mind's eye, like a star that never fades, no matter how distant. The vision of Princess Mifa grasping her light scale trident in the moonlight, a gentle smile upon her face. So lovely, your breath could catch this your breath would catch the, at the sight of her, as though she were an ethereal being, not flesh and blood. I dearly wish I could see Princess Mifa standing in the moonlight once more, if only. The Moonlit Princess. 
Second, can't forget the sight of Princess Mipha holding her light scale trident in the light of the moon. Perhaps you can, can fulfill his wish of seeing that lovely sight just one more time. How would I do that? The vision of Princess Mipha, Mipha grasping her light scale trident in the moonlight, a gentle smile upon her face. So lovely. Okay, so not really anything new. Even just a realistic picture would suffice. Odyssey, that sight once more. Princess Mipha standing in the moonlight. I wonder if I can go to Mipha's court, take a picture, and that would count. That'd be cool if it did, but I guess I'll have to check later. For now, is there anything new in here? Sorry, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Let's leave you alone. Um, I don't see too much more to do around this area, but we are starting new quests, so it's definitely worth talking to everybody. What do we got down this? Oh, there's a little crab I can grab. Gotcha. Okay, so another bright-eyed crab, and there's a lot of people to keep up with over here. I'll protect him. My mom asked me to help. My brother is a little bit unreliable, so I've got to keep an eye on him. That's what my mom said. Um, but keep that between us, okay? If he found out, he'd get really mad and puff up his cheeks like an octorok. That wouldn't be good. Link, so you are responsible for the sludge disappearing. I might have guessed as much. Thank you, good sir. As captain of the guard, it's my duty to reflect upon the awful tragedies endured by the domain because of the upheaval. Oh. From this moment on forward, I shall forever steal myself in service of his majesty, King Sidon. I shall do so faithfully, just as my father, Sagan, served the exalted Dorfin. Very cool. Oh, we can also make some food here, which I probably need to do real soon. Finley. Hey Lenny, listen up. I found a super old story in an ancient manuscript while organizing the inn's bookshelf shelf with Finley. Here's the story from the ancient manuscript. Long, long ago at Tarm Point, a blessed stone was hidden away within the sacred shrine. It was a magnificent shrine that was overflowing with blessings. <laughs> See, it's clearly an ancient manuscript containing a timeless secret, right? Maybe so, oh. right? I knew of all people an adventurer like you would understand, Lenny. This is probably something left behind by the, my great, 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 great grandpa. Probably even more grace than that. It says that the shrine is sacred, so there must be some truly amazing treasure there. As soon as she read this, my daughter Finley declared she was off on an adventure to find the treasure. Before he knew what hit him, she had grabbed Sasson, and together they raced off out of the domain. <laughs> Finley is headstrong to say the least. She'll be fine, but I'm a little worried about poor Sasson. Tarm Point is way off to the southeast of the Domain, so it's pretty far. I hope they make it there safely. Maybe we could help out. True treasure. Coda at the Inn came across the following passage from an ancient text. Long, long ago at Tarm Point, a blessed stone was hidden away within a sacred shrine. Coda's daughter, Finley, believes there must be a treasure there, and so she and Sasson set off to, for Tarm Point. Does a treasure await them? This will have to find out soon enough. So. Yeah, the story I found in an ancient manuscript that was in the bookshelf, I bet it was left behind by my ancestors. It says the shrine is sacred, so there must be some truly amazing treasure down there. Okay, so let's go and talk to you then a little bit. This is just Kaden. Oh, Link, thank you so much for once again uh, for saving the domain. As I'm sure you know, Finley was in pieces worrying about Sasson, who did not show up here as planned. However, thanks to the sludge finally disappearing, Sasson was able to arrive here safe and sound. Oh. Finley was over the moon to see him. The two have a lot of catching up to do and have gone off somewhere together. I'm just so relieved that she is happy once more. As a father, that is practically on par with the sludge being gone. Oh, <laughs> please forgive me if I'm oversharing. Anyhow, back to work I go. Thank you for coming Whoa. by. Enjoy a deep a sleep as deep as the ocean here in Seabed Inn. All right, well, I actually don't need to stay. I think I'm doing fine. Um, we've also already done the blissful waterbed, so I'll just leave all that for now and we'll continue to check out whatever else might be going on. There's another shop here, of course. Um, Clef? He's unconsciously talking about crabs again. That is just so weird. If you ask me, Clef from the general store has been acting odd recently. Crab this, shell that, he's mumbling stuff like that all the time these days. I wonder if something's wrong. Huh. Maybe we can help? Crabs, crabs. Hi. This is our general store, the Coral Reef. We were finally able to restock our fish thanks to His Majesty King Sidon and you, the courageous Link. You really helped us out of a pinch. Anyhow, if you see something you like, please just crab it from the table. Oh, unless you have some other business with, with me, tell me and I shall not dawdle. Crabs, eh? 
Oh, perhaps I I'm not doing a sufficient job of hiding my overpowering feeling about bright-eyed crabs. Oh. You see, I met a bright-eyed crab right around the time all of the nonsense with the sludge came to an end. I was unable to stock any fish because of the damage caused by the sludge, and then it appeared. It was a single glorious crab. It crossed my path while I was fussing and fuming. I was irritated, I was famished, and so mm. I swallowed it whole. <sighs> yes, the spikes were incredibly painful, but once I was able to transcend the pain, there, there was magic awaiting me. No, more like it was greeting me with a warm hug of savory umami goodness. It was the tastiest thing, perhaps ever. <laughs> oh, I am positively drooling just thinking about it. One or two is not enough, not nearly. Now I need 10. Can you please give me 10 of those decadent bright-eyed crabs? <laughs> Naturally, I shall make it worth your while. This transaction will purely help me from becoming crabby. Mmm, crabby. So we have a crabulous deal. Clef, the owner of the Coral Reef General Store, is crazy about crabs. He promised to make it worth your while if you can find him 10 bright-eyed crabs. How many do I have? I've eight, so I'm almost there already. That could be a pretty easy quest to do. There's so many quests around here, wow. We have Laugh Light over this way. The sludge has disappeared and a new king has taken the throne. A wonderful new page has been added to the history of the Zora. I wish you could stay forever in our beautiful domain, Link. But as I understand it, you must be leaving. If you ever grow weary during your journey, please return to the Zora's domain. You are always welcome here. I'm glad. Yeah. So this is Dento. They're sort of a little concerned about something. Link, once again, you have done Zora's domain a great service. Thanks to the efforts of you and our, our young King Sidon, the domain has been saved. You must allow me to thank you. Oh. Link, if you intend to go up against the various phenomena plaguing this world, you need a weapon that is up to the task. The light scale trident has been passed down through generations of the Zora since ancient times. It will not fail you. Bring me the necessary materials and I will craft one for you with all due haste. You must acquire a Zora spear, three diamonds, and five pieces of flint. Even a Zora spear that has decayed will suffice. Return to me when you have required the required materials. I will be waiting. Glory of the Zora. The blacksmith, Dento, has pledged to make the light scale trident for you. The forge, this powerful weapon used by the Zora for generations, he requires three diamonds, five pieces of flint, and the Azora spear. He assured you that a decayed spear will work. Well, we don't have all those materials at the moment, but whoa, hold on, we got more fish. I might be able to picture here. What do we got? Hardy salmon. Take a picture of that one. Over here we have Mighty Carp. So I don't think I have any of these. I might as well buy one of each too. Uh, and then the Armored Carp. Very cool to be getting different kinds of fish. So yeah, let's take a look at each one. Armored Carp is 40 rupees, a bit expensive. Casting deposits in the scales of this ancient fish make them as hard as armor. Cooking it into a dish will fortify your bones, temporarily increasing your defense. Sure, I'll just buy one. <laughs> there we go. Then we also have the Mighty Carp. Uh, this freshwater fish lives alongside its less mighty carp ilk. A compound in its liver promotes muscle growth. Dishes cooked with it will temporarily increase your attack power. Okay, buy one of these two. And then lastly, the hardy salmon. This fish makes its home in cold water, giving it extra, layer, extra layers of fat. It'll restore all of your hearts and temporarily increase your maximum hearts when used in cooking. Ooh. It's very expensive, but if I could just make sure I have one of everything, I'd be happy. So there we go, we got all that. I don't see anything new here that we need to pick up, so I'll continue to explore around just to make sure we can maybe get extra stuff. I guess I can't jump out from here, but I did see more crabs down there, so I do want to get over there. I see you guys. Ooh, here I come, here I come. Gotcha, there's one. And then I think there was another one, yeah, right over here. So let's just be safe about it. I'm just gonna knock you out and go and grab ya. Boop. Awesome. We also have all this fleet lotus seeds, which I have a picture of, right? Yep, I do. So with all that figured out, I don't think there's too much more to do around here. We can actually just, now with our exactly 10 crabs, I should be able to talk to Clef again. Here you go, hi Clef. Mm -hmm. Crab whatever you like. Oh, oh, do you need me for something? Uh. Bright-eyed crabs. Oh, it seems you have what I need. Care to make me a crab trade? Let's trade. Let's see what you have. 10 claw-inspiring crabs. Oh yes, crabs galore. Just gazing upon them, I can feel that umami goodness washing over the intense pain in my mouth. Mmm. You have my thanks. In fact, here. Since this is our first crab trade, I threw in a little bonus. Until we meet again, we get a sapphire. Very cool. When you gather more bright-eyed crabs, please let me know. 
at that time, I'll make a trade for some products that are equal in value to the number of crabs you shell out. <laughs> huh. A crabulous deal complete. You gave 10 bright-eyed crabs to Clef. He offered you a sapphire in appreciation. He's still just as crazy for them and will trade you something good in exchange for more bright-eyed crabs. Interesting. Yeah. Hi. Will he tell me exactly what he'll give me for what amount? Let's see. Bright-eyed crabs. Link, my crab intuition is strong. You cannot hide the truth from me. You do not possess even a single bright-eyed crab. Poor soul. Greenness awaits you, Link. Please, come back after you have crabbed what I need. Now, I shall attempt to compose myself. Can I help you with anything else? Your will shall be my command. No. Um, all right then. So hopefully we can find some more crabs soon and we can get some interesting rewards for them. We'll have to wait and see. Probably wait a while before I do that again. Uh, but, oh, there's another thing from Franck here. Where could she be? A floating place. I'm sure that is what I heard, but... Link, how wonderful. You... <clears throat> Heard me talking to myself, didn't you? Since you are here, I must ask you something a bit odd. Mm -hmm. Have you heard anything about a floating place? A floating place? Oh. Here's my tale. When my dear wife, May, went out fishing, she was singing this mysterious song to herself. Mm -hmm. I found a floating place where I'll catch a fish with grace, a hop and a skip to a great fishing trip. And with that, my wife hopped and skipped over to the bridge in the east of the domain. At the time, I paid it no heed. She's, she is given to songs of fancy, but her absence has started to weigh heavily on my mind. A floating place, a hop and skip away. I've never heard of such a place. My wife is the type to rush off in, in a fit of excitement. I'm worried that she will do something rash. Oh, my beloved May, I dearly hope that she has not gone somewhere dangerous. A wife wafted away. Frank is very worried that his wife, May, went fishing somewhere dangerous. When he last saw her, May was crossing a bridge in the east of the Domain, singing about hopping and skipping to a floating place. Search for May for her husband's sake. I definitely will. Oh. My wife, Wei, has always been the sort to act decisively. She never needed any help in that area. If she's further inspired by King Sidon's succession, she vowed to take the initiative just like her king. Mm. She was racing all over from the moment she awoke. I feel it is likely she found her floating place and hopped there. I do not truly understand what I'm saying either, but one thing is for sure. My dear wife's impulsive actions can sometimes cause a great deal of trouble for our family. <sighs> Where could May be? If only I had tr tried to stop her before she crossed the Eastern Bridge. Well, maybe we can find her. Here's Dunma. Yeah. Link, thank you so much for saving the demand. I'm motivated to follow the example of my esteemed elders so that I can protect Zora's domain as best as I can. Link, Captain Baz, he went off on an investigation while the sludge was still raining down and returned triumphantly. Wow. Or like Captain Baz, not Link, Captain Baz. What a legend! I want to be that strong one day. If I become as strong as a captain, who knows what my future holds? Wow. Of course, when I told my father all that, somehow he became even more excited than I was. Typical. <laughs> all right, and then finally we have Ribbon over here. Thank you, Link. Once again, peace is returned to the domain. Furthermore, although this is admittedly more of a personal matter, ah. my daughter, Dunma, did a fantastic job of protecting Jato. I believe this means she has a good chance of becoming the next captain of the guard. That's great. So I'm not really seeing too much more to do around here. I do want to focus on some of the side quests we just started, mostly the ones relating to the Zora armor. So I think the never ending lecture is the first thing we should do. If it's a floating fish island that they're talking about, then we're most likely trying to get back up to this um, floating scales island. So I think we should go back to Mifa Court and see what we can do from there. So we're back here in uh, Mifa's Court. Whoa, something's happening. Oh yeah, Sidon Spirit, his vow. It should be activating now that we're out of Zora's domain. Sidon's Val has granted you the power to summon his avatar. And look at this, just go like this, activate it whenever. But now that the moon is out, that also reminds me of the other side quest. We'll do that in just a moment too. Um, oh, and it's Trello. It is unfortunate that this place survived the panic surrounding the sludge. Still, Leto is quite worked up about all the, of the damage. It certainly is in dire need of repair. He was in a rather excited state when he left to look for materials at East Reservoir Lake. I hope he finds what he needs. Me too. I don't see too many other Zora to talk to, but while it is nighttime, we need to take a picture of Mifa in the moonlight, which obviously the best thing we can really do with that is take a picture of this statue over here. So we'll get over as soon as we can. 
Yeah, right over this way. So I don't know if the moon has to be in the picture. We'll just try to do this. Moonlit Mifa statue. And that feels like a really nice photo. So hopefully that's good enough. So we'll bring that back to them soon enough. In the meantime, how are we getting there? That's the one we're trying to get to. I think we can just go right across. There's also that whole building over that way, which I haven't really explored at all. I don't know what the fires are for. If it was like some kind of enemy or maybe there's a Zora out that way. We'll find out soon enough. Oh yeah, I already did this. This is with some Koroks over here. It looks like they just sort of head off after a while. Okay, I just need to get over there. All right, two in. To do. We still have the Zora armor on. So I have a couple of guesses on what we can do here. I don't know if it'll be the right idea, but for right now I want to swim up. Floating Scales Island. Because this is the same, the closest thing we have to like a floating fish is the Floating Scales Island. Obviously we already did some things here, but I'm trying to take a good look around. It doesn't look like there's like a clear, obvious way to get under it, but what I was hoping, and this is where it gets a little complicated because there's no clear indication of this. Maybe if I were to use one of our like spawnable things, our platforms, I could use it to just sort of get under it and then ascend through it. Maybe there's like a room in here or something. That's my best guess. Because if we take a look at the mission again, where is it? Uh, right here. Apparently it rests within a sky fish. So it's definitely in the fish itself. But I don't see any openings to the side or anything like that really. So let's break these two open. Get a good bundle of arrows out of that. Can't complain. See, I think what we'll do, if I can manage, get down somewhere like here. And actually maybe I should, uh, if I could do it from here, it'd be great, but I just don't trust myself. Here. I need to get two of those platforms. Do we have two? We do. Okay, so get these two, let our stamina restore, and then I need to activate them. I only have so much energy here, so let's just try to make sure we're making the most of it. The first thing we'll do is just bring this down as much as I can, and same thing with this one. So maybe I'll just hop there, do this, and I don't know if this is gonna work really, but it's my best bet. Whoa, are you kidding? No, 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 you're kidding me. Ah, oh, no. Wait, I don't really have much of a way to get back up. Ah, oh, darn, you're you're kidding me. I could, Link, can you please jump off and then get over that way? No, I'm out of stamina. Ah, oh, this is the worst. All right, well, uh, that's not what I wanted. I don't know why he just didn't land right on them. I just fell off. That stinks. Oh wait, as I was doing this again, I'm just now noticing there's an opening over here. Was this here before? I have no clue. I mean, I guess I could have ascended through this and gotten really lucky, but this looks like it has to be it. It has to be. There we go, the Zora Helm. A Zora headgear made from dragon scales increases swimming speed and allows you to spin to attack while swimming. That's great, it's a never ending lecture completed. You discovered a hidden entrance into the floating scales island, a fish shaped island floating in the sky. Within, you acquired the Zora helm. So I guess I might as well put this on, go back over to the Zora's domain and talk to those two just to see if they have anything more to say, because I'm really curious about that. But yeah, that was pretty crazy. So let's see what these two have to say now that I have the helmet. The Zora Helm previously used in battle was damaged beyond repair. That means the information Queen Yona found is the only key we have to repaying our immense debt to Sir Link. Ah, it is you, Sir Link. Is there something we can help you with? Wait a moment, huh? Sir Link, that thing upon your head, is that not the Zora Helm? Yeah, we, we, we found it. To think it was hidden on a fish-shaped island floating up in the sky. So, the Zora Helm was up in the sky, meaning it was impossible for us to find it from the start. Thank you, sir. Thanks to you, Sir Link, our goal was achieved. Same as though we had retrieved it, the, re retrieved the helm for you ourselves. Perhaps this means that Kira's lengthy lectures will finally come to an end. Mm. Oh my. This was intended to be our opportunity to honor Sir Link for his contributions. Instead, we caused trouble for him. 
we have much to be sorry for, and yet, there it is, that inexplicable smirk upon your face. It seems again, it again falls on me to instruct you in proper conduct for an attendant. Listen carefully. No, it cannot be. I was so sure that the lectures would finally end. Enough tomfoolery. I will not allow it. This cannot be happening. You witness something unseemly. Worry not. I intend to give Chroma a stern warning. Sir Link, if you so please, will you speak with Queen Yona? Helm aside, Queen Yona is earnestly seeking to find, uh, seeking some Zora Greaves for you. As you are, are well aware, the Zora Greaves should prove quite useful on your journey. Okay, so that's what we're doing next. We've already talked to Yona about that. Uh, and if we track that quest, wherever it was, uh, one of these. Hmm, the Glory of the Zora, was it this one? No. Oh, I can do the Middle of Princess one really quickly, but uh, was it true? Treasure? No, there, there's one of these that we're looking for, for the Greaves. But I guess for now, we'll go ahead and bring this back for the one guy, for the Moonlit Princess, because that was just right over this way. Just like this. Now that we have your picture, I think you'll be happy. Such memories. The vision of Princess Mifa grasping her light scale trident in the moonlight. So lovely, your breath would catch at the sight of her, as though you were an ethereal being, not flesh and blood. Take a look at this. Hmm? This, is this, it is! This perfectly captures the vision of Princess Mipha that has been burning brightly in my mind's eye. Ah, such loveliness. To think that I was able to set eyes on this vision that I was so sure I would never see again for all of my days. Link, I cannot thank you enough. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this Zora sword. It is something I once used myself. Though it is not a key, it has life in it yet. Please put it to good use. The Zora sword! So I think this is something we've seen before, but a long Zora sword with a decaying blade. Made of a metal favored by the Zora, it yields a high attack power when it gets wet. I feel so relieved. My mind is now at ease. It is as though the sun has at last pierced through the clouds of my mind. Though much time has passed and so much has changed, I am forever the loyal subject of our, of your, of our Zora royals. To King Sidon. Ah, oh, my gills feel as clear as the day I was born. Cheers to a new era. May it shine brightly for years to come. And that's the Moonlit Princess complete. You showed Sagan a picture of Mipha's statue beneath the moonlight. Sagan was moved by the beauty of that sight and renewed his vow to remain a loyal subject to the Zora royal family, no matter what changes the flow of time brings. I'm glad. So with that being said, we're just looking for that last quest. So here it is, a token of friendship. You should be able to access the ancient Zora waterworks from the reservoir east of the Dominion. So we sort of know where that is, so if we pull up the map, Zoom out a little bit over there. There's not really an easy way to get over there besides just going back to the Ihana Shrine, and I guess it's sort of flying over. So let's look we're right back over the big spring, whatever it's supposed to be. And I think if we just keep flying over, we don't wanna go up here, because that's gonna lead to the Wellspring Islands that we've been to before. We wanna hop into the giant reservoir, the big spinning cyclone, really, I think is our current goal. And then I guess somewhere down here is gonna be the Greaves. Might be a bit of a, a task to find them, but I guess it's hidden around there somewhere. So yeah, we just hop straight into it. Here we go. Even though it does give us a check mark for this area. I guess, I think that's just where, you know, just like with the helm, it just sort of opens up somewhere. I don't think that was there before. Or we're in here. So yeah, we can do a little spin attack in the water now with the helm, which is really cool. Whenever they give us new abilities like that. Whoa, 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 that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Whoops. I might be yeah, hard pressed to actually get back up there now. That's not really so good. But I'll just try to swim through here and just sort of try to find where we're headed to. Because right now it's a little bit of a mystery. I feel like there's a lot of places we could end up going and I'm gonna drown. Ooh, so I'm down this way and there's actually a Zora here back at the ancient Zora Waterworks. The water. Hmm? Well now, is that you, Link? Let me guess, have you also come here in search of a lovely new diving spot? If so, I have some heartbreaking news to share. This will be tough to bear, but I ask you to stay strong. There is no water here, none. I had hoped to break new ground by diving amid these solemn ruins. I was positively brimming with excitement. Alas, my joy was short-lived. When I arrived, the water suddenly retreated until I couldn't see the ground beneath. A diver without water is like a bird without sky. The sad state of affairs, I assure you. 
maybe I can help somehow. This place is definitely looking quite a bit broken up. If maybe there's a way I can either get the water to return or something like that, I don't know. Right now we'll just take a good look around. I mean, I think we're the reason the water disappeared. Well, actually we were trying to raise the water before, weren't we? So it is a bit weird that the water has retreated like this. It's gotta be a bit more we can do then. So we'll take a good look around and see what kind of things we can access. Right now it's looking quite desolate though. Ooh, whoa, way down here. This is totally new. Oh man. So this is what I'm talking about. This definitely would not have been accessible the first time we went through here, would it? Look at this, we get a bunch of bright bloom seeds that I can grab. Always good to have some more and a big rock I can bust open. I wish I had better weapons to do that with, but I don't currently, so maybe I'll just use the Lionel Boomerang for now. I mean, it's a nice weapon. Not as not nice as some of my other stuff, so might as well use that. And if I pull up the Ultra Hand again, nothing is like clearly making itself obvious, but I could try going up this waterfall. Is there anything cool up here? No, I thought that maybe there'd be like a little cave at the entrance or something like that, but so far, not coming up with much. What about over here? I'll go up that waterfall in a moment, but that might be just where I'm headed to, so. Whoa, hold on. We got some friends. Oh, some really, really big friends. You're not a new one, are you? Nope, you're just a normal, luminous stone talus. Very cool. But we know what to do about you. As soon as you throw one of those, maybe? Okay, hold on. There we go. We got you pretty good. That should make you fall. The problem is it's so wet and dreary around here. Might be hard to really take too much advantage of this, but we can just slice you as much as we can here, Mr. Stone Talus. I think we can do some good work. This line will boom right is badly damaged. It broke. Don't worry, I have more. We got the Soldier Three Blade here, which of course is a slower swing. But we're still doing good damage. We might be able to beat you here with just a couple more. No, come on. All right, all right. You're gonna try to get me here, but as soon as you can, ooh. Gotcha. That's all we needed. So that's another enemy taken down. And you know what? I have my uh, Zora Sword here. I might as well combo that with this giant thing, you know? Seems pretty cool. So I'll grab all these goodies. I'll go like this and use it with my sword, my Zora Sword. There we go, up to 42 damage. And if we get it wet like this, right? Does that up the damage or was that with bonus damage? 54 damage is insane. Wow, the more I'm thinking about that, we gotta hold this for when we really need it because that is such a strong weapon. My goodness. Okay, so still a couple of things around you to, to sort of discover, right? Can I go down under here? No. Seemed peculiar, but not much I can do around this spot. I wanted to go up this other waterfall, even though I'm expecting not much of a turnout from it. Just like this, and yep, nothing up here. So really the only way to go was the big waterfall over in this direction. Well, I think, yeah. Sometimes it's just hard to make out details. Oh, and behind the waterfall might be what we're looking for. Look at this big treasure chest. This is, of course, the Zora Greaves! These Greaves have been passed down among the Zora for generations. It's been said they're crafted using dragon scales. Equip them to swim faster. I would love to. So we're gonna get those equipped and a token of friendship is completed. While exploring the ancient Zora waterworks, you found that the water filling the cave had been drained. At the bottom, you discovered a hole continuing further down. After investigating further, you discovered the Zora Greaves, believed to be where it left here as an offering in the distant past. So cool, so we have this full completed Zora armor. Glad to see it. So we can get launched way up here, but I guess there really isn't much to do here. So at this point, we're just left to leave however way we see fit. I don't think there's really too much more to do here in the Zora Waterworks, so we could go back up like this maybe? Where would this bring us? Not quite sure. I guess it's right back where we entered. But we explored all the other stuff here to, as, as far as I'm aware, the full extent. So I think the last thing I'd wanna do is go talk to Yona again, let them know that we found the armor, and then we're gonna sort of move on from Zora's domain a bit. So we are looking beautiful in this Zora armor. So we can talk to Yona again. 
Oh, Sir Link. Huh? Just a moment. What is that upon your feet? Could those be the Zora Greaves? Yes, they are. We found them in the ancient Zora Waterworks. Wow, so a large hole opened up within the waterworks, draining the water? And the Zora Greaves were at the bottom of that big hole. Extraordinary. <sighs> After all that my Sidon has told me, I can safely say that it is so like you to find them on your own, Sir Link. May they prove useful to you during your noble travels. The Zora Greaves are a symbol of the friendship between the Sora and the Hylians. As such, it is most fitting gift for you, as you are truly an irreplaceable friend to all the Zora of the Domain. Hehe. <laughs> Speaking of irreplaceable friends, whenever my dear Sidon opens his mouth, chances are it is to speak of you, Sir Link. Whoa. You'll say things like, Link is the best, and also, no task is insurmountable when I am with Link. I feel a bit silly telling you this, but after all that has transpired, I truly understand how he came to feel that way. Sir Link, thank you so very much. That he has found a true companion in you makes me as happy as it does him. Zora's domain will always be with you, now and forevermore. Consider that a fervent promise. Please do not be a stranger, dearest friend, the domain. I am so glad that it feels like Sidon's sort of whole life is filled with friendship and love. That's great. Can we do anything more with this? Do we have enough orbs? I don't know if we do. Oh, wait a minute, the light's a blessing. I forgot, or the whatever, the, the, the greenish ones. I don't know what those do. You also have Sage's Will. Four, for four Sage's Wills, I will make you a, your bond with a Sage stronger. Whoa! So I could like improve one. But what if we did like Tulin? Now I will make your bond with Tulin stronger. What does that do? I didn't know that was a thing. Solemn Vow of Tulin, Sage of Wind. The strengthened vow of Tulin, Sage of Wind. You re your reinforced bond with Tulin has increased his avatar's attack power. That's amazing. Go and bring peace to the world. But also, I think I'm gonna add more health here instead of stamina, because I keep on getting hit really hard and losing all my health, so I think just getting more heart containers would be really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and get this. Next time I'll get some more stamina for sure. But beyond this, I feel like we're all wrapped up with Zoro's Dominion for the time being. We'll of course come back here eventually to get more side quests done, just as we will every other area, basically. But I think for now, we probably wanna go back to Lookout Landing, talk to uh, Pearl a little bit, see what they have to say, and sort of gear up so that we can make our way in to uh, Gruta Village next. Or Gruta Town, whatever it is. But yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so we're back here at Lookout Landing. As you can see, there is some stuff going on. We have Zoras who have made their way here. It's so cool to see that like as we continue, like everybody we help starts to sort of recruit with us. We've had Ritos and Gorons, and now some of the Zora people are here too. So maybe we can just sort of catch up with them. We got Numi in here. Aww. Link, it is you. So you have returned from Lookout Landing, yeah? We of the Zora Brigade were sent here by the order of King Sidon. Please rest assured that we are sworn to protect Lookout Landing by the honor of our king. Awesome. Hey. Capello, you protected the Domain. That is why this time we will be the ones doing the protecting. And Reska. Gaddison, who remained in the Domain, was planning to go out and defeat nearby monsters. I wonder if, we'll, if all went to plan. What, ah, what am I saying? I suppose there's no sense in fronting over a heroic Zora like her. Ty. The captain is strict, but compared to how tough things were with the sludge, this is nothing. Now it is our turn to repay our debt. We will protect this fort with everything we have, just as you protected the domain from the sludge. And then finally, Pinoa. Ah. I had never left Zora's domain before this, so living here feels very new to me. <laughs> it is interesting, even if I do have to train all day. Well, I'm glad you're having fun. Really happy to see that the Zoras are, you know, sort of taking to, you know, being here. So do want to take a look around the emergency shelter, just to make sure if there's anything new going on. Doesn't really look like it. Nobody has like a new mission for me or anything like that, but I'm good to keep up with everything. You can see down here, this is where I'm heading to next with the Grudos. Uh, Link, good morning. Will you be heading out? It would be a complicating factor if you got lost during your travels. Please make sure to check your destination. Oh. I'm quite confident in my knowledge of Hyrule's peoples and places. So if there's anything you're wondering about the, its various peoples or their towns and villages, please ask. Uh, various peoples? Mm. Aside from us Hylians, Hylians, there are four people here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits. Whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. 
We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. So I think we know a lot about this. I was hoping for more uh, details and exactly where we're going, but I guess not. So we'll just sort of catch up with Pura, let them know what we've been doing. Beyond that, if I don't see any other quests around here to really focus on, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I know that obviously. There's a lot of side quests that are sort of, or just like side adventures as well that sort of play towards the main plot. They'll be touching upon later on. Oh, hey, this place is so dry. We got Muzu here. It is time for a new generation to lead the way in Sora's domain. I leave it to King Sidon and Queen Yona to forge a path. However, King Sidon also has his new duties as a sage to attend to. In his stead, we will proudly protect Lookout Landing so that King Sidon can devote himself to his newfound duties. In addition, we are preparing to embark on a dil diligent inquiry into the geoglyphs that have appeared across Hyrule. We shall share any information we uncover at once. Of course, the kingdom is vast, so please understand that it will take some time for us to gather this information. Will do. Yes. Linky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. Mm. The major cold front that descended upon the Rito and the marbled rock wrist that the Gorons couldn't get enough of. And finally, the sludge contaminating the Zora's water supply. All of these things connect the Princess Zelda somehow. Hmm. That must have been exceptionally challenging, Link. Mm -hmm. But thanks to your efforts, some of some normalcy has returned. Entrusting those areas to you is the right decision, after all. Mm. It's become clear as day that there is a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval. Things are much more serious than I anticipated. You need to hurry to the remaining region, and soon. And we need to investigate the other place, place I'm concerned about, too. So, remaining region? You've got to be kidding. This is exactly what you should be using your prayer pad for. Did you forget something? Well, I guess that's in character for you, isn't it? Can I see your prayer pad? So, yeah, they'll point out that it's right in the, the southwest, I believe. Yeah, way down there. The last location in the Gerudo region is the Gerudo region of the southwest. Gerudo is on the southwest edge, or southwestern edge. It's quite the trek from here. You'd be wise to rest at the stables along the way. So that's gonna be the hardest journey yet, I feel. Uh, for Gerudo, the most direct route is straight through the Red Gerudo Highlands. The temperature shifts there can be pretty unforgivable. It's a formidable place unless you're a seasoned traveler with the means to react quickly into the environment. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Anyway, if you need a refresher on what to do, check your Pura Pad. I'm leaving that that region with phenomena happening to you, so make me proud. I've also got that other village on my mind. I'm working with the survey team to look into what's going on there. Okay, so I'm guessing they mean Kakarika Village. We've heard about that. Keep me posted. I definitely will. So I don't think there's really too much more for us to do here. We'll be setting off to Gerudo Village next time around, which would be way down here. It's gonna be hard to get to for sure, but we'll find some interesting things along the way, I'm sure. If there's anything more I can do at the moment, it's probably just gonna be cashing in Korok seed stuff, but it looks like, you know, some of the other pieces are here. Can't quite afford them for now, but that's good to know. Uh, let's go over here. Hi. There's a shop here, huh? Shakakala. I spell Korok seeds on you. If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand the size of your inventory. So what do you want? More room. Okay, so I think I need more room for shields, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, you have five Korok seeds, you got it. Let the expansion begin. All right, so let's see it once, because we haven't today. Yitka. All right, very cool. So we'll have more space for shields whenever we run into them, which right now it's all like Zonite shields. Da, na, 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 na. Okay, expand the band band. So let's see. Make your pouch even bigger. Can we do weapon? Eight Croxes, we have exactly enough for this one. So let's try this out. More weapon slots is always a super duper welcome thing. Okay, so yeah, even more weapons to hold. This is why we definitely need to be a bit more serious about finding uh, Croc seeds and stuff just so that we can have more and more slots for everything. But that was fantastic. So with some Zora side quests done, getting the Zora armor, and now we're all geared up to set off to the Gerudo village to get our last, I guess, temple done, the last phenomena figured out. I'm so excited to see what that's gonna be like, but I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of work to get there. So we'll get started with all of that in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.